Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another GTA Online video. Now, in this video, I just recently purchased a, a, a new business, and it's one of the cash counterfeits businesses. We're, we're slowly growing the empire here, but I want to show you guys something just real quick here. Um, and what you guys, you guys have all played GTA way longer than me. And I'm just kind of coming out with things and learning them some things. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to the cash counterfeit business, which you can't even see in this. I don't even know why I'm actually going here. So we just recently purchased a, a motorcycle club. And I also have my cash counterfeit business, which is actually not that far away from where we are currently located. So let's go ahead and make our way over here and kind of see what's going to happen. I really don't know what to expect. Um, so I, all I know is I have to actually head on over to my new cash business. And we're going to see what happens. And I want to start making some some illegals money <laughs> and uh, just see what kind of happens. Uh, let's see. We got to turn here. We're going to the back of this area. Okay, so it's in this building. Nice. All right. So let's go right here, I guess. Okay, this obviously is not like the garage area. So we can't go in. Like, we don't have a garage, I don't think, maybe? In this specific business? All right, this is your counterfeit cash. Business production is suspended until the necessary supplies and setup equipment have been located. Once the business is set up and running, your MC will be able to produce and sell counterfeit cash. Nice. Access the Open Road Admin site on the secure laptop to get the business up and running. From here, you'll be able to locate the equipment and supplies needed to begin production. Select the setup option to get started. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, it's right there. It's pretty empty. It's actually pretty small too. But you know what? To make some extra cash, we don't need a big we don't need a big space. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and log into the open road. I didn't name my motorcycle club because it was expensive and I don't have a ton of money. So let's go ahead and set up the business. And yes, we're going to confirm that. All right, president. We're now the president of the motorcycle club. We're almost good to go. Just need this. All right. Where am I going? Okay. Go to Strawberry. Isn't Strawberry located in like downtown Santos? It's like five kilometers away. Holy crap. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our way on over and get the supplies. Uh, maybe this will allow us to start actually making some money. That would be absolutely fantastic. Why are we taking all the dirt roads? That seems kind of weird. Especially on a crotch rocket style motorcycle. Just... I never liked going on gravel roads on a crotch rocket. That was always not fun. I didn't enjoy. I did not enjoy that at all. Um, you know, on normal cruisers, eh, it's not so bad. But crotch rocket, don't like it. You're just too high up in the air to really have total stability and control over your motorcycle. That's just me. I did not like it. But anyway, we're going to head on over to Strawberry. We're going to pick up these supplies, and then we're going to bring them back. I think we're going to bring them back to the club, and we'll just see kind of what happens along the way. Obviously, I'm just trying to set up the counterfeit cash business, and then we can start making some extra dough. I do have, what, 1.1 million, almost 1.2 million. I've been, uh, I purchased the LeMay's West, or Maze West. I can't, I'm going to say LeMay's all the time. I know I'm going to. Maz West or Maze West. It looks like I don't know really know which way it's actually pronounced. Not a clue. But we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it how it is. You know, we'll, we'll, we're just gonna make up our own damn names for it, so you guys can just deal with it. <laughs> so we're gonna obviously go on get on over here, pick up these supplies. Oh man, I can't. I'm so excited about making some extra dough here in uh, GTA Online, and uh, I can't wait to grow the empire. Of Gamer Corey LLC. That will be amazing. I know, I know, not unique on the name. I'd, oh, God. I took that corner a little bit too hard. We're on Center Street. I guess that's appropriate. Get on your damn motorcycle. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. All right. So we have arrived at the location. What are we supposed to do here? Enter the stockade. Okay, we're going, we're going in here. I don't know what we're supposed to... What are we looking for? 
And it's harder to see at night, obviously. Oh, hang on. What's this? This looks a little suspicious. Enter the stockade. I don't know. Is this the stockade? Please don't set off an alarm. Okay, good. Oh, okay, good. It is it. Sweet. Uh, I've collected some business supplies. Now we got to deliver it back to the business. I feel like we're going to encounter a lot of issues uh, along the way. Oh, man. This thing is so slow. All right. So we made it out on the street, and now we're heading back to the, uh, the the business, the counterfeit business. And we're going to start setting up the supplies or we're going to be delivering the supplies. I'm kind of feeling that uh, this isn't going to be the only supply truck that we have to bring back. And I am not turning every single freaking block. I'm saying we're going to, we're going to make our way down here and then we'll turn. Man, this, this thing is absolutely shit. I would not want to drive this thing every day. Cash money, yes. I don't know how we just got this so easy. That was like the easiest way to get supplies. You just go somewhere, pick them up, and you're like, hey, look, free truck. I wish it was that easy in real life. Be like, hey, you know what? I want this to be all in this truck, and you just magically go there, and it's just kind of chill in there. Pick it up, bring it back home, good to go. Wouldn't that be amazing? Be like, you know what? I really feel like I want a new whatever, whatever it might be. New computer, new television, maybe a new girlfriend. And you could just, you know, go, hey, I go pick up these supplies at this location. Nobody's going to be guarding it. Nobody's going to be whatever. And then you just have to pick it up and not worry about it at all. I mean, oh my goodness. It just, it just seems kind of funny to me. This is Grand Theft Auto, people. We need to start killing some people. Move out of the way, cars. I will run you over if I have to. I don't even know how I didn't hit them. My driving skills have not improved. Well, all right, my dudes, we have almost made it back to where we need to go. And we're right next to this shopping center that I didn't even notice before. It's a little tiny, crappy shopping center in the middle of Sandy Springs. But let's go ahead and deliver these supplies to the business and set up complete. That, that was it. All right, so now what? Okay, this protection area counterfeit cash processing will begin here once the staff have arrived. Counterfeit cash will be processed and stacked in the trolleys here in order to maintain production. That's a lot of cash. If the business becomes full of product or runs out of supply, production will cease. You will still need to pay production overheads to check back. Okay, so we have to manage it regularly. Access the open road site on the secure laptop to resupply the business at any time. From here, you will be able to access to cease production. Okay. So we have to pay people no matter what, huh? They've got the stuff. This is day zero, baby. We're in production. LJT bag are logging off. All right. See you later, LJT. What's up, Tony? Listen, this is uh, Tony Prince. Oh, dude. Nope. I, I know who you are. I don't want anything to do with you. You're, you're kind of creeping me out, my dude. Okay, so let's go ahead and access this uh, laptop real quick. I So do we just have to really wait for... Let's see. Buy, biz, buy upgrades. Oh, okay. So... We can upgrade some of the things that we need. Okay, per purchase this upgrade to install security personnel and surveillance equipment. This will reduce the likelihood of being raided by the cops or by enemies. That's probably beneficial. Purchase this upgrade to hire more staff. This will speed up production rate and improve your overall value of your product. Purchase this high upgrade or this upgrade to install higher quality equipment. This will speed up your production rate, improve the overall value of your product, and your supplies will stretch further. Well, I don't have enough for all of these because that's what one point, basically one point five mil. I have one point one, and I don't know if this would really be worth it to put into. I don't know if it would be worth it to put that much money into this business right now. And I only have 1.1 anyway. So I think what we need to do is we just need to wait until they start uh, 
so until our uh, employees start arriving here. All right, guys, so it's just a little bit later and my staff have arrived. I got a text message. It didn't take too terribly long, just a couple of hours in game and you can see all this beautiful cash that they are making for us. Good job. Good job, dude. You are making uh, some good amount of money for me. What's up with you? Are you you're laundering it? Putting it, put it in the dryer to make sure that it, it gets all nice and wrinkly. Man, I bet those things are expensive. Alright, so value is absolutely zero right now, which I don't know how it could be zero because, you know, there are there's there's cash all over. I mean, look at this. If that was hundreds, that would be easily a million dollars. Because a stack of hundreds each is ten grand. And one of those bricks is worth about a hundred thousand. Well, I mean, okay, so that's ten grand because it's strapped the way that it is, so but you take 10 of those, and that would be a hundred, uh, that'd be a million dollars. So shut up, Tony. And, uh, Tony Prince again. Nobody wants to talk to you, my dude. So we're just going to let this business kind of do its thing. And we'll kind of check in on it a little bit later and see if uh, it's how it's, how it's going and see how much money we can actually make from this business. Well, all right. So I came back a little bit later and we've made $7,000, but it does look like I might have to restock my supplies, at least at some point. It's been basically one in-game day. So not even a day. It's been like 12 hours, roughly, um, considering when my employees actually showed up. Because what time is it actually? It is... Yeah, 19.28, so it's 7.30 basically in the evening, and they showed up about 8 o'clock in the morning. So $7,000 every, you know, 10 minutes, I guess, is in, isn't is terrible. So I guess we'll just have to kind of see what happens. Uh, maybe this isn't the best uh, business to go ahead and start, but uh, you guys should let me know in the comment section what might be another great business opportunity to start in GTA Online. So if you guys have some recommendations for me, please leave a comment down below. It would really help me out. But that is all the time that I have for in today's video. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. <laughs>